The North Carolina city of Wilmington is often regarded as one of the most attractive riverside locations in the country. It boasts some of the state's finest beaches, in addition to its rich history and lively waterfront. So sit tight as we guide you through the best things to do in Wilmington, North Carolina. Visit Wrightsville Beach. Wrightsville Beach, just eight and a half miles from Wilmington, is one of the most well-known and easily accessible beaches in North Carolina, where you can enjoy a wide range of outdoor pursuits and water sports. Visiting the seaside town that National Geographic classified as one of the world's top surf towns, where you can participate in a wide variety of water sports, is one of the best things to do in Wilmington. Located only 10 miles to the east of the historic district, this beach is lauded for the hotels, vacation houses, restaurants, bars, and boutiques that line its wide ribbon of sand. Several of the beach entrances also provide shower and bathroom facilities. The beach's location, a few dozens of miles from the Gulf Stream, means that visitors can enjoy warmer, nearly translucent seas. Surfing, paddleboarding, museum visits, and discovering secret sanctuaries are just a few of the many popular things to do along the coast. The beach is the centerpiece of this ideal vacation spot for families. Downtown Wilmington on a trolley The downtown area of Wilmington is comprised of historic cobblestone streets, and a trolley tour is the best way to see the area's beauty and charm. Experience the rich history and iconic sights while on the move with a ride on the vintage trolley, a famous tourist attraction in downtown Wilmington. The trip goes to famous places like the historic Bellamy Mansion and local museums. It also goes to places where Hollywood blockbusters like The Conjuring, Iron Man 3, and I Know What You Did Last Summer were filmed, as well as places where episodes of popular TV shows were filmed. The trolley tour covers 8 miles and takes about 45 minutes. Stroll Wilmington's Riverwalk The Riverwalk in Wilmington is one mile long, and no visit to the city would be complete without at least one stroll down its length. Popular eateries and watering holes surround the wooden boardwalk that runs parallel to the Cape Fear River, and stools and seats are strategically placed throughout the area. Everything about local culture is represented on the Riverwalk, from the history of the area to the pulsating nightlife. It begins at the Hilton Wilmington Riverside and ends at Chandler's Wharf. It's open around the clock and free to the public. Battleship North Carolina After being commissioned in 1941, the battleship North Carolina lived up to its reputation as the world's greatest sea weapon by taking part in far more than a dozen military operations in the Pacific Theater during World War II. After being decommissioned in 1947, the ship was scheduled to be shipped for scrap metal, but citizens of North Carolina petitioned to save the vessel and eventually had it dedicated as a museum in 1962. Today, the ship serves as a museum where visitors can learn about the ship's history and the brave men and women who served aboard. It's worth noting that the ship's decks may get quite warm, particularly in the summer, and there are several flights of steps to climb. It's open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Adults pay 14 bucks, seniors in active duty military pay 10, and children ages 6 to 11 pay 6. Kids under 5 are free. Downtown Sundown Concerts The Wilmington Summer Concert Series is a series of free, public, outdoor performances held on the first and third Fridays of the month of May through October at 6.30 p.m. Over 26,000 locals and tourists alike attend this annual event over the course of a few days. It's an important component of life in downtown Wilmington. There will be live performances at each event, as well as food vendors and beverage vendors selling beer and other drinks. Typically, Main Street is lined with food carts selling a variety of munchies for the hungry concertgoers. Please be aware smoking is not permitted anywhere, nor are dogs or alcoholic beverages brought in from the outside. Tour Wilmington on an Electric Bike Taking a tour of Wilmington from the seat of a bicycle is one of the city's most enjoyable activities, and doing so on an electric bike is even more delightful. Easy Electric Bike Rentals, a new company that began operating in September of this year, gives locals and visitors alike the chance to discover the city by bicycle. There are a variety of electric bikes and mobility scooters available for people who are wheelchair-bound. Enjoy the flexibility of hopping on and off at different stops as you take the sights of Wilmington in an environmentally responsible manner. Bellamy Mansion Museum 
This grand Greek revival mansion was home to one of the wealthiest slaveholders in the state, Dr. John Bellamy, his wife, and their 10 kids from the middle of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th. It features 22 rooms, renovated slave quarters, and beautiful gardens, and now experienced tour guides share the property's history with guests, including information about the family, the building, and the slaves who worked there. Visitors get the opportunity to explore not just the full home, but also the slave quarters, which are made of brick and have two stories. There are four bedrooms, a laundry room, and two bathrooms with five sinks and stalls here, all of which are attached to the main house and serve as a convenient facility for guests. The current building, which is one of the best kept in the area, is a refreshing change from the primitive shacks more commonly found on plantations. Explore Poplar Grove Plantation the Poplar Grove Plantation is located along the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor, protected by the National Park Service. The Heritage Corridor spans the distance from northern Wilmington to southern Jacksonville. The Gullah Geechee are distinguished not only for their distinct Creole language, but also for their distinctive arts, crafts, music, food, and religious rituals. Poplar Grove Farm, once a sweet potato and peanut plantation, now serves as a cultural center for the Gullah Geechee people. The mansion's three stories make it a true manor house, and it was first built in 1850, making it eligible for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places. In addition to the peanut thrasher and information on peanut cultivation, the facility features two historical art workshops, a blacksmith shop and a basket gallery. The stables on the premises are home to a variety of animals typical of 19th century farms, including goats, ducks, pigs, horses, and more. Airly Gardens The Airly Gardens in Wilmington span an impressive 67 acres. They showcase flora and animals indigenous to this region of North Carolina, in addition to a butterfly habitat and a maze of walking trails perfect for a stroll in the woods. Airly has a number of annual events that add to its appeal, such as a month-long festival of lights in the gardens during winter and weekly concerts on Friday evenings during summer. If you plan your trip around Christmas, you should definitely see the gardens lit up with twinkling lights. Another great time to visit is in spring, when the flowers are in full bloom. Wilmington Brewery Scene Wilmington, North Carolina is known as America's beeriest beach town, so it should come as no surprise that it boasts more breweries than any other in the South. While in town, stop by the Wrightsville Beach Brewery and Edward Teach Brewing, two well-known Wilmington breweries. Wrightsville Beach Brewery is known for excellent beer and tasty meals. They make more than 10 kinds of craft beer. The brewery is well known for both beer and seafood, which is caught just offshore in Bradley Creek. Tastings, live music nights, yoga classes, and Tuesday brewery tours are just some of the regular events you can expect to find there. In the vibrant Brooklyn Arts District, Edward Teach Brewing Company is a must-see in a historic building that once housed a fire engine. The notorious pirate known as Blackbeard, whose given name was actually Edward Teach, inspired the name of this brewery. There are currently five different craft beers available, and the brewery has the coziest atmosphere in which to enjoy them. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Wilmington, North Carolina? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.